boys and girls, uh, Old Snare for run it once. Today I'm gonna be making a four tabling video at Poker Stars. This is a session I played probably about one month ago or so uh, in a pretty tough short-handed game. This game I think was is formed around this guy Demon Ten from from Denmark. Um, I've seen him around playing both 204 and 100 200 from time to time, so he's by all means not a bad player. And we have Mickey 696, which is a short stack specialist, uh, have been around for many, many years, and is playing really, really good uh, 40 BB poker, PLO. He does some really interesting stuff in uh, equity pushing preflop. So that's some some things we have to have in, in consideration when he's in the blinds, since he's pushing so much equity preflop. And we have uh, Ban 86, which is in my opinion the best PLO player in the world right now. Uh, his game is just so uh, he he has like a an GTO approach, at least in my eyes, where he, where he's like really really aggressive uh, aggressive gto approach which is really really hard to ma ma master i guess he's not like the, the other gto camp which is playing a bit more passive style uh, and is, is check calling and uh, checking the back more but ben is more of the c betty and and aggressive style that is really really hard to combat. He's so well balanced uh, on every card in the deck you should say. He, he, his ranges are just are so good and protected. This is uh, really really tough playing against him. Yeah. So this is by all means uh, not not a f uh, super, super funny game to be playing but I think there are some EV to be made. Yeah and we can probably just start out by playing out and see if there are some interesting hands and just talk a bit more in depth about the hands and concepts around it and uh, yeah let's just jump into action as we say in Norway table 2 right from the bat we get double suited good connected queens versus Ben so button open. Uh, he min raised uh, min races. This hand is we just have to three bet this for value uh, and playability. This hand play pretty good in a three bet pot versus a somewhat weak range. So yeah, super clear cut three bet. On table one, uh, we flat call on the button. Somewhat, it's a pretty normal flat, I would say. The only thing that is a bit the negative uh, is the stack sizes for the small blind and Mickey in the big blind. Uh, they will probably squeeze, Demon probably should squeeze a bit more, but they will probably be uh, squeezing pre-flop here and uh, then we are in, in a bad situation. But I think we can just call 100 baby effective in, in position uh, even we get blown out times we get squeezed and then for four bets so yeah flop four check eight this is a flop i'm c betting close to my range as default since this is hitting my treatment range a lot uh, the mid to high rundowns and over pairs with backups can can bet call a lot so uh, and i also think Ben's range is just about week to week that he is probably I'm, I'm having a lot of follow up with him but uh, for, for my range here I think since I'm see I think this is so frequent I need to put in the strongest value so yeah I'm starting with the see better there uh, for sure Queen 10 10 7 just about not strong enough to be flatting or doing anything it's, it's a fold uh, if the button was min racing, I think we can call her profitable, but not not the cutoff and not yeah. 
Looks like I go for 1800 into 26, which is okay, given the stack sizes. On table 1, uh, the flop is 345, so I, I, I expect Ben to be checking almost his range here, I think. This is a board that isn't hit the, hitting his range at all, uh, or at all I should say, he's opening 40% from the cutoff, so Floppy is forced to check fold a lot. Uh, it's so hard to realize out of position. Uh, so uh, so I, would, I would assume he's probably checking range here. But I, I think I can stop here profitable in a vacuum, even though Ben is probably have probably a good strategy on this board, so I can I don't know if I can auto profit by one bet. But uh, yeah, I think that I think I should have a lot of full equity and I can maneuver on turns and river as I want with so I expect him to be check calling a lot. Uh, not a lot, but he has uh, some really strong value in his check calling range, I think. Turn is probably the best card in the deck for us. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I believe Ben doesn't have that many 9-10 combos in his range. Since I expect him to be 1, I have 9-10 myself, and B, he, he should be, he's probably just potting and realizing and taking the full equity with a lot of the 9-10 combos, especially those with a pair in them. However, his range for calling is probably a lot of pair with gut shots like 4-5-6, 8-5-6, 8-9-7, 4-9-7, some dry jacks, and obviously also some strong, strong value sets. But anyway, this is a card I'm also c-betting, uh, turn c-betting a lot, given that the button range is so weak, and my this card hits my 3 betting range also a lot, so I'm kind of auto-protected that way, but yeah. But since I'm, I'm, I'm probably having a mixed strategy with my bet sizes there, this is a card I, I might consider bet folding some parts of my range, just because I should expect to have a lot of, of uh, fold equity. Therefore, since I bet folds, I'm probably taking like two pair plus or jack eight plus you can say and turn see that thing half pot or so and also have a bet folding range with the same sizing and just take the middling part and put call so i think i i think i just have to the vacuum play might not be the better actually but for my range i just have to include a good value in my turn see range since this is a as mentioned a turn I want to attack with my range. Uh, the turn pairs the five uh, and I don't think and I don't think I want to be too burling with the I, I, I'm saying all I'm saying is I don't think I have a lot of full equity on this card and I'm kind of just think checking behind there is okay to, to take the free card uh, and I also think his range is not folding enough. He has a lot of two pairs in this range. He has ace twos, six seven, six twos, some over pairs plus a flush draw, some pair plus flush draw, some pair plus straight draw. But I think I, I think I don't want to choose this hand in my tree battling range. I wanna probably have have some sort of tray four combinations for my bluffs or some six XX or reduce XX for frequencies and card removal, but yeah, I'm just I, I'm just giving up. Basically. And then folds the turn on table two.